I wasn't going to mute the mic, but uh, now I feel like I should. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, this is a rowdy crowd here on a Friday night. So I wanted to share a story with you uh, that I'm calling Man vs. Meat. And as most of you know, I can't leave home without something happening. So uh, the man in this story, you might recognize him, it's me. <laughs> and the meat in this story is like a, a porterhouse steak, okay? Man versus Meat. Now, I know how you guys look at me and you walk me walking around campus, you think I'm made of steel, but you know what guys, I'm only human, all right? I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like everybody else, so don't be surprised if something happens to me, okay? Where was I? So, I'm enjoying this steak dinner, and normally, those of you that are in biology, those of you that are in science class, you know how the human body works, you know, as you're chewing up the food, it's going to make its way down your esophagus, your, your mouth is instinctively making these uh, balls of food, and as you're swallowing them, it's going down to your stomach. It's all automatic. It's a, a smooth muscle that's around your esophagus. And right about there is where I ran into a problem. As you can kind of see there, we are frozen mid-frame, and that's what happened to me, people. I was just enjoying a dinner, and that's what happened. So if your esophagus is totally blocked up, it means nothing is going down. So you're like, oh, I think I have something in my throat. And then you take a drink. But then you try and take a drink, which is like your instinct, but then it comes right back up. So it's like, I'll just, I'll just uh, clear my palate here. Just like, Ooh. So it's like reverse peristalsis. It goes into your esophagus and Ooh, right back up. So you're Ooh, Ooh, right back up. So what do you do when the old human body is not functioning properly? We gotta get yourself to a hospital, people. So I go in, and uh, the diagnosis from the doctor within just a few minutes. I happened to be in Nova Scotia, so I waited about six minutes to get in to see the doctor. It's a little different system out there, anyway. The diagnosis is a meat bolus impaction. This is my uh, sounds pretty fancy, doesn't it? Having a blob of meat stuck in your throat. This is a meat bolus impaction. Now, I've been teaching biology a while. I've been studying biology. And I must say, I've never heard of a meat bolus impaction. I guess it's good that it's not stuck in my trachea, but I'd rather have it stuck in my esophagus, but nevertheless. So you're probably asking yourself, sir, what is a meat bolus impaction? Well, it turns out it's right down here, and that's where you've got food on its way to your stomach, but for some reason, it is blocked right in that, it's impacted, I guess you would say. So it's a meat bolus, it's a blob of meat that is impacted in your esophagus. So the doctor says, option number one, sir, are you ready for this? The endoscope. So the procedure is basically they just drive a tube down your throat until they find the meat bolus, and then they push it down into your stomach for you, just to help it along the way there. Just to get down, just all the way down, and then boom, push it down there. The old fast and effective. I would have been out of there in just a few minutes. And you're saying, sir, the story must be over there then. Thank you for sharing. Unfortunately for me, the gastroenterologist, they were gone home for the day. So, no endoscope for me. Option number one, out. Trial number one, the doctor says, okay, we're not giving up just yet, all right? This is not my first day on the job. You're not the first person I've dealt with with a impacted meat bolus. Soda. They went and bought me a bottle of Sprite. And they said, so yeah, between the, the bubbles and the liquid and the bubbles and the liquid, it should be able to jar this thing loose. So let's see how that worked out. So I went down the Sprite, and then it would be right back up. And then I went down some Sprite, right back up again. Down some Sprite, right back up again. This kept going and going and going. Ineffective. This is one stubborn meat bolus. Option number two. The doctor's not giving up people. He's a trained professional. Option number two, Alka-Seltzer. Sir, I think if we just build up enough pressure around this meat bowl, it's boom, it'll rock it right down there. You know what I mean? Mentos and Coke style, right into your stomach. Okay, you got me some Alka-Seltzer. 
I downed this alpha cell. Now, if you've seen alpha cells, you might have seen it in your house. It's a few extra bubbles that are there, and gave me a few alpha cells. So I guess normally it's kind of fizzy in the in the cup there a little bit. Now, I don't entirely know what this looked like from the outside, but to me it kind of felt like this. Yeah, it, it could not get down. It couldn't go anywhere. You know, it's one thing if you've got the old meatball is moving along, but when the meatball is just stuck in there, that's all got to go somewhere, people. Not pretty. So I was frothing at the mouth with all the Zelka cells are bubbling out of my face, and I can't keep anything down, and uh, totally ineffective. But you know what, people? That doctor, he's tenacious. You know what I mean by tenacious? Yeah. He's not giving up. He's like, sir, what about a smooth muscle accelerator? Now, you've got smooth muscle around your digestive system. You've got smooth muscles around your circulatory system. These are muscles you can't control, and these are the ones that take over. As soon as you swallow, these are the ones that are going to push that food to your stomach. His idea is give me a shot of this smooth muscle accelerator, and what this will do is give my smooth muscle an extra push, a little extra jolt. Every time I would swallow, it just take it up a notch, you know? So basically, instead of swallowing, it's going to go a little bit more like this. Little waves and waves of strong contractions pushing that down on the stomach. Sir? Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, well, luckily, I should say, this thing had a... I was like, how long is this going to last? You know what I mean? Am I just going to be swallowing food at lightning speed for the rest of my life? You know, like, I don't really want that to happen, you know? Uh, luckily, those of you that were in uh, grade 12 bio and uh, those that did isotopes in grade 10, you remember a little thing called half-life, uh, the time it takes for half of the uh, molecules to break down. So in this case, the half-life is pretty short. Within a few minutes, all of the... Uh, smooth muscle accelerator would have been processed and true. But I must say, that first minute at 100% of smooth muscle accelerator, that was a hell of a ride. Sadly though, totally ineffective. He's got my, uh, my uh, digestive system going crazy in there. But you know what guys, that doctor, he wasn't out of ideas just yet. He said, sir, that was a smooth muscle uh, relax, that was a smooth muscle accelerator. Now I think, with that smooth muscle accelerator, I think I've locked up the muscle. I can picture kind of the meatball is in there, but now those muscles are all just kind of worked out, and they're all trying to hold on to that muscle, that meatball is a little bit stronger than they were even before. Sir, I got a new idea. Smooth muscle relaxer. We gotta try and loosen up this smooth muscle. Forget the accelerator idea. Whose idea was that anyway? Was that your idea? I didn't know if that was my idea. Who knows whose idea the smooth muscle accelerator was? Let's relax that smooth muscle. Let's try and loosen it up a little bit. Now, those of you that are in bio 11 know there's smooth muscle around your whole circulatory system. So when you relax all the smooth muscle around your whole circulatory system, a little something like this, all the blood vessels of your body instantly just kind of let go. They're all just suddenly on vacation. And all of that it translates to heat. But my skin was, was burning up. I couldn't believe it. And all the blood is now filling every little spot that it can in my body. So my blood pressure bottomed out. And uh, I was super hot, super sweaty, low blood pressure. I had to sit down, and you guessed it, folks. That meatballist was holding strong. <laughs> see, people, when you go see the doctor, this is why when you go to work, they just call it a job, you know. But when a doctor goes to work, they call it practice. So he's just practicing all of his moves on me here. Oh, let's try this on this guy. Let's try that on this guy. What else have we got in the old medicine cabinet? So the solution, guys, he's rounded the bases, he's back to square one, you know what I mean? Come back tomorrow when the old endoscope is available. Why don't you come back tomorrow morning, just go home, relax, don't fall asleep, or you might choke on your own uh, uh, saliva there, but anyway, if you can try and come back in the morning, that'd be great, and then we'll jam a tube down your throat, and we will push that down to your stomach, problem solved. By the way, sorry about the muscle relaxer and the muscle accelerant and everything else I gave you in the last uh, hour. So, therefore, Mr. Planeta's heading home, everybody.
Now, I'm at home, and what am I supposed to do, right? I might as well just sit back and watch some TV. I gotta go back to the hospital in like seven or eight hours, you know what I mean? Well, hey, what about that Sprite idea? They've seen the X Sprite here, and we'll just start sipping on the Sprite. Glug, 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 ill. Glug, 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 ill. Glug, 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 ill. Glug, 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 ill. Oh my god, wait, I can't take any more of this. It's just nothing but Sprite and regurgitated Sprite, and then said, what? No? Thank you so much. Have a great summer.